What is that? Sounds like... you could tell me. Hmm. Sadness. Hmm. I need you to focus. Hmm. Think back to as far as you can remember. What do you see? Hmm. Is this a game? <sighs> I'm afraid not, hon. This is important. Listen. I know what Richard did. Was he the one keeping you here? Marianne! It's okay. I've sent him away. He's gone forever. Lily. Lily? Lily. That used to be your name. Do you remember? All that's happened. Your father. You remember him? Uh, I, I remember. Uh, mommy. Oh, she was so pretty. But, but so sad. Just like you. It must be nice to remember your mommy. I never met my parents. They... They... We were in an accident when I was very little. I was the only one who made it. It was really lonely without them. I... Uh, I know what that's like. Ever since my friends... This is a lonely place, Marianne. I shouldn't be here. Maybe you'd be better off somewhere else. Maybe I could send me away. No, Marianne. I can't leave. Not yet. But why? Aren't you afraid of the monster? I am. But it doesn't need me anymore. It, it wants you. And when, when it breaks you, when it puts you on, it, it'll finally be able to leave this place, but it, it will never be full. It will never stop killing. Then let me send you away, so we can both leave. Now that you remember who you are, I can help. No, Marianne. It's not just about me. It's you. To remember the dream, the fire, the red house. What? Wait! No, what is the red house? You were there, Marianne. With me. You were always with me. I'm so sorry. Lily?
hard-working man who could probably use a well-deserved smoke. It's Francis, right? Uh, excuse me, but, uh, who are you exactly? No, oh, just a guy looking to do the right thing. I imagine some would call me a patriot. Are you a patriot, Francis? Patriot, huh? I imagine others would call you something else entirely. Richard, it's just you and me. We're gonna have a nice chat. Hey! Hey! He really messed you up, didn't he? In ways no one else could. He tried to get to Richard, too. Didn't realize he was no longer there. Spark's too weak to absorb. It's like it's missing something. Are you looking for this little girl? Um, I'm sorry, but, um, father doesn't like it when I talk to strangers. Smart man. He's the manager around here, right? Would you happen to know where he is? I'd love to have a word with him. Go away! Or I'll scream! Clever girl. Thomas. You were here. This was your place. Oh, hey, a eunuch. Someone's got good taste. What the hell happened here? July 27th, 1983. The Gemini case. The investigation is moving along, but I think Rekovich is starting to suspect something. Need to move fast. Tonight's the night. So they knew about Thomas, and who the hell... The power's out. Well, you're one to talk. This was your bright idea. No, they're already on to us. That son of a bitch is one of them. I can feel it. Fine, we'll make sure. Come on! It's almost on. One of them? Who are you running from, Thomas? This looks like it could lift a pound or two. It's missing a handle, though. There's something under that engine. If only I could lift it somehow.
this? The Red House? It was then I knew. This was the place. The answers were right in front of me. Buried among the ashes. When you hear them squeal and you smell their bodies burning, you'll tell me everything. You'll beg me to listen. God. There were children inside. Was she? Was I? You think you're so special? You'll burn just like the rest of us. Talk about a government agent, comrade. <laughs> <laughs> with a kid. Oh, but I do. I've spent a lot of time getting to know you, Thomas. In fact, you're kind of a pet project of mine. Oh, yeah? What's my speedo size? <laughs> Funny guy. Oh, I love this one. You like it too, comrade? Fuck you. <laughs> Let's play a game. It's called... What makes Thomas tick? So, the Nazis found you in Warsaw when you were, what, three years old? Oh, they were gonna kill you, but they didn't. No, they saw your potential and wanted to harness it. But then... is over. In comes the heroic Red Army, and they locked me up for years. Fucking savages. <laughs> they do important scientific research. 
find out what it is that makes you special. And what is that exactly? Ask your mom. <laughs> you enjoy it, don't you? <sighs> Hurting people like those scientists. <sighs> what were you? Eighteen? I saw the photographs. I know how to make a man hurt, but I gotta say, I was impressed. Stick around. We'll give you a live demonstration. And there you were, free at last, but always on the run. And look at you, you almost made it. But you had to use this power of yours again. And on who? On your best friend, Richard. You had it coming. Yes! I know, you wanted revenge, I understand. I would do anything for my child, too. Whatever it takes. Leave my children out of this. Children. Yes. How much pain would you endure to keep them safe? What would you sacrifice for them? Your freedom, maybe? Let me go, you piece of shit! That's what I thought. I'll let you go. But first, I want you to tell me all about these powers of yours. Then earn it! Come on! Enough of this sissy shit! Hit me! I thought you'd never ask. Get some rest, Thomas. The next time you wake up, the real pain begins. Wake up, sleepyhead. Time's running out. What did you do? Here. Save them. <laughs> 